What's up guys, Brian here, back in the Gecko Lab today for a Project Holdback update video. Just showing off some cool geckos to you guys. Thanks for joining me today. I've got a lot of cool stuff to show you. Let's get right into it. Well, thank you all again so much for joining me today. Just going to show off some of my favorite holdback geckos. First up, we're going to start with these girls because they're right here in the display tanks for this video. These are all visual exanthic females. Now, all these girls are holdbacks of mine. This is a handful of my visual females. Every one of these is going to be bred to a lily white exanthic male. So these are all lily white exanthic breeder females. A couple of these girls, like this big pinstripe girl down here, is big enough to breed now. I just don't have a boy big enough to breed with her. So while I've got a couple smaller girls growing up, these girls are all just sitting around waiting for a boy to get big enough to breed so they can make us more lily white exanthics. Speaking of lily white exanthics, I know why you guys are here. So here it is. This one is getting a couple weeks old now. So I'm comfortable getting him out and showing him off. He's a real jumpy, feisty, lively guy. You can see him bouncing around. This is our lily white Azanthic, an absolutely breathtaking gecko so incredible i am absolutely in love with this lizard so amazing now you guys might be hearing me say that and going wait a minute we saw the spoiler quote on the thumbnail for a video what gives yes guys i did sell this gecko his sale is completed now i closed the deal not too long ago um i kind of put the word out to a few trusted people of mine that I, I would be willing to sell him but I wasn't looking to sell him and uh, somebody approached me with an offer that I just couldn't say no to so I did sell this guy uh, it was a decision that did not come easy it was something that I had uh, you know gone back and forth with the potential buyer about and I sat on it for a couple days thinking it over and I really it was really hard to make that decision but I did end up selling this guy He's going to be here for a couple months over the summer while it's really hot, putting on a little bit of weight and getting ready for shipping. So I'll get to watch him develop a little bit over the next few months, and then he'll be on his way to his new home. I can't give you any more details than that right now, but that's the story as of right now, guys. This guy did get sold. Um, I've got more eggs hatching out all the time, so we're going to hit another one real soon. I had one hatch out over the weekend, over 4th of July weekend, while I was out in the mountains doing some photography. I had one hatch out, Lily White, missed the Exanthic. It's a head Exanthic Lily White, which I'll take. Don't get me wrong, I will take that. But I got three more eggs that are due to hatch out in the next week or two, so hopefully one of those will hit. It's just a matter of time. We're gonna get more of these. And as you saw with these girls, that project is really gonna get ramped up next year. So I am outrageously excited to see where this project goes and what these guys are gonna develop into. But for now, I wanted to give you a good up close look at this guy with some good clear video, show him off a little more because man, that is the best looking crested gecko I have ever seen. Right, so I fully understand that 90% of the people that came to watch this video just clicked off. So for the 10% of you that are still with me, I wanted to show this one off. I've put a picture of it on our Instagram before, but I had to give you a closer look here. This is my favorite Lily White that we've hatched so far. Overall, everything. This one is not part of the Exanthic line. It's just a Lily White, but this red girl is so beautiful. The red with all that Lily White markings pattern on her. One of my favorite combinations. I absolutely love this girl. Just spectacular. So nice, so good. I love this girl. I'm not real sure what I'm gonna do with her. I've never really publicly showed her off, half because I don't wanna get an offer. I don't want somebody to offer me money for her and then I end up selling her like I did the last gecko we looked at. But I really think I'm gonna keep this girl. I don't exactly know what I'm gonna breed her to. Uh, I got a couple options in mind. I got a really nice red and white, white spot male that I might pair her to because he's not a lily white, even though he really, really looks like one. So I think they might be a good match. I'm not real sure. She won't be ready to go until next spring. So I've got some time to figure it out, but I definitely wanted to give you guys a good look at her. Now we're gonna switch gears away from the lily white line stuff and look at a Dalmatian. I absolutely love this guy. He's an offspring out of Maryland. Now this is Marilyn. Everyone's always asking me for offspring from her. And this 
is a little one I've been growing up, a male from her. I might keep this guy and breed him. I specifically like his really light base color and big black spots, obviously that's the trademark, but he got mom's really light base color. I really, really like that and I'm thinking of working on a bigger line with the lighter and lighter, lighter base color. I also wanna use these guys to breed into my Azanthic Dalmatian project because I think that light base color, when you mix that with the Azanthics, you get really light, almost white geckos. And I think that in a super Dalmatian form will be absolutely untouchable. Last up, I decided to bring out this guy, a red quad stripe male. Now, honestly, in the big scheme of things at this point in the gecko world, this guy's not that special. Now granted, he's about as nice of an example of you're gonna find of a red quad stripe male, but red quad stripes just aren't that big a deal anymore. However, I love these guys. Red pinstripes were one of the first projects that I really kind of nailed my name to and said, that's it, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm focused on. That's what I'm gonna get named, known for. And there was a time that Altitude Exotics was known primarily as the place to get red crested geckos. When I first got into the game back in the late, late 2000s, 2008, 2009, red crested geckos were almost unheard of. You could barely find them. They were super rare. There was a rumor for a long time that you couldn't get a red crested gecko with good structure. All kinds of crazy stuff back when red crested geckos were so rare. Now they're not that rare. All kinds of different red combos have come out, but still for me, this is really what started it. This is the project that I first had this burning passion around that I had to get the nicest ones, improve them in my lines and see how far I could take it. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it for me today. Thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoy seeing these. I like showing them off. Let me know down below if you want me to do more videos like this in the future, showing off some of our holdbacks and where our projects are going. I'd be happy to do so. I can show off and talk about geckos all day long. That's literally what I do. I love it. So thank you. I appreciate it. Altitude Exotics, altitudeexotics.com slash AE Geckos on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you guys. Have a great week. We'll see you soon.